Then there's a whole other area. We've talked a little bit about video and some of the video sites, but of course, you know, people, the idea here is to go to where people are, not to wait for people to come to you. So we've set up Friends of UCI Open Courseware on Facebook. We've got Twitter going. We've got, uh, we're doing a variety of things on social media, LinkedIn, and we're setting up groups. And right now we haven't spent a lot of time uh, on it. But again, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, these are searchable sites. So all of a sudden when you're putting your things up here, you've got to get another way that things are linking back. And if you look at the Facebook page I'm showing you, you'll see this big begin course uh, button. But that is essentially a link back to our site. And so all of a sudden you've got these pointers coming from outside your, your website back to you. And the more you get of that, particularly on very prominent websites, the higher your results are going to be. Here's the, the equivalent LinkedIn page. And, you know, again, we simply, it's very simple, very fast to do. We simply put up our courses. And again, that, that big blue headline for training and human resources development is actually a link back to us. And here's our, here's our Twitter feed. And we, uh, and so again, it's just another sort of text feed that's out there on a site that's highly indexed by the search engines. And so again, it's point, where does it point back to? It points back to us. And a, a third way of looking at it, so we've talked about social media and, um, and uh, video lectures so far, but also there are repositories. And these are some of them. There's OER Commons. There's Merlot, which I happen to like because it adds to the mix a peer review uh, element. So for example, the Henry Pontel course has four and a half stars. I should say it should be five stars because of his contents is excellent, but it got dinged on the, um, uh, on the navigation for half a star, so we lost half a star. But in any case, again, look at open courseware. If you actually go to Merlot, which is a, an, o, an OER website, and you search on, on open courseware, you're going to find UCI coming up uh, and something like nine of the top 11 uh, websites. There's MIT will show up, UCI, the, the Open Courseware Consortium shows up, and then it's all of our individual sites. Why? Because we add metadata uh, to each of the lists that uh, uses the word open courseware, OCW, etc. And so when people do search for that in, inside Merlot inside this repository of 10,000 learning objects, they tend to find UCI's materials first. The um, uh, newer entries will tend to go higher, peer-reviewed entries get higher, so there are various ways of playing with the Merlot site to make sure you're very visible on it. Um, but you'll notice also that MIT, which is very successful in being visible on the web, it's not only related to the size of its collection, which is important, it's also related to the fact that they put in intensive amounts of metadata wherever they are, that is on their web pages, if they enter things in repositories, et cetera. They're putting in a lot of metadata and that makes them very, very And here's another one that also has about 10,000 learning objects in it and it's called Connections. It's a project out of Rice University. And, uh, and again, it it's a, 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 can be a little bit more tricky to actually Put a course you've developed elsewhere into it because uh, it accepts Word docs, it accepts PDFs, but it has its own format, uh, its own XML format. But nonetheless, again, when you put it up, all of its contents are searchable by the indexes, and it's a highly reputable repository. So by including connections in your universe, uh, you are um, actually then making all of your materials much more, much more. And of course, on top of uh, uh, repositories and everything else, we, we blog um, uh, our own courses. And you'll see that we have actually now a course on Iraq reconstruction. So we think that it may be the only OCW course on Iraq reconstruction, so we should be highly in those results. However, if you look for search results on a course like this, because Iraq is such a huge topic, you may not get in the top 10 results, for example. So there are limits to this method. Nonetheless, the fact that, again, that you blog it on the site that's getting indexed or multiple blogs, because the blogs can point at each other as well. 
And there are various tricks here, including having guest bloggers and so forth, that I'm not going to go into at length, but you can, but how to do a blog well is a, is a subject of a full, uh, of a, a full webinar, and we don't have time for it today. Um, but nonetheless, that's one of the other areas that we're adding in. Um, so this is basically the idea is to completely encircle yourself with things that are actually pointing to you. And I mentioned before that Open Courseware Consortium is this set of links to each other that as we actually track uh, on our website, the various analytical tools, where we're getting our uh, hits on the OCW site from. And always a proportion, not the highest proportion, but a proportion of the um, visitors are coming from the Open Courseware Consortium. And they're finding us through already having been on a member site, finding the consortium, finding something uh, using Course Finder or any of the search tools that we provide, and then finding us. So we're, that's always um, keeping up your visibility on, uh, by being a member of the Open Course or Consortium is important. But let's look at the other ones as well. So we have the idea that there's social media, that there's the world of video lectures, and that there's generally a bunch of metadata to work on uh, to make sure that you're actually putting your, that, that the search engines can find you and that somebody else could actually take in on their website your feeds. That is, uh, without explaining the details of RSS feeds, the, the idea is that somebody can automate the process of seeing whenever a new course is published on your site and that several sites external to you should be doing this um, for a variety of reasons like OER comments, grabs RSS feeds. Uh, OCWC, OCW Consortium grabs RSS feeds. So you have to make sure that you are uh, taking your course list and pushing it out there to the rest of the world. And the RSS feed is the fundamental way to do that. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into what R RDFA is, but it's a way of describing your documents at uh, relationship of your documents, uh, it, the embedded relationships inside your documents subjects, etc., cetera, um, uh, using a um, script of uh, meta, meta language, metadata uh, a tool. Um, so you should, be, you should be basically, those two kinds of things you should at, at a minimum be looking for as a way of pushing out what you're doing and getting maximum visibility. And the other way is to have this populate the universe of the web with sites that are pointing back to you.